Hey everybody, Christopher Mink for EverythingiCafe.com. Today we're going to give you a short tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 using AppSynth. Uh, we'll provide a link to the software in the notes below and we're going to unzip it and there you have the AppSynth app. Uh, basically double click on this app and it's going to basically give you a warning that you've downloaded this from the internet. Just say OK and move on. Now, I haven't connected my iPhone uh, 4S yet via USB. I've waited till I've launched the app. And unfortunately, what's going to happen when you first launch your iPhone 4S, you know, it's going to launch iTunes and iPhoto, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, actually minimize these. And uh, there's a picture of me. Uh, actually going to minimize these. I'm actually going to quit out because I just don't want anything going on in terms of like, you know, syncing my iPhone or any of that stuff happening uh, while we're jailbreaking the uh, the iPhone for us. So uh, we'll quit a few things, uh, let iTunes know, iPhoto know, and then we're all ready to click on the jailbreak button. Now, this process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. You're not supposed to do anything while this process goes on. So we're going to speed it up here uh, through the magic of video just to kind of, you know, help help us get through this video a little bit quicker. Uh, like I said, it takes like 10 or 15 minutes. And so let's just uh, speed this up a bit. And you should also know that this is for iOS 5 and iOS 5.0.1. So uh, we were running iOS 5.0.1 uh, during this tutorial. So uh, just a heads up on that. Now, it's going to complete here shortly. And during this process, your iPhone will reboot. And th that's normal. Um, and then it's going to get to a stage where it says, OK, slide to unlock and click on the AppSynth link. Um, as you can see here, we have the AppSynth link and we're going to click on it. Now, a lot of people have been getting the error establishing a database connection. So uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to want to head over to settings and we're just going to go backwards here. So we show you exactly where you need to go. You're going to go to settings and then right at the top there, select general, click on network. Click on VPN, and then you can select on. So uh, this was already selected. You see jailbreak there. And now what's going to happen is it's it's going to um, reboot, and this is completely normal also. So you know, just let it do its thing. I, you know, I got this error. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, again, it's going to uh, yeah, it's going to go through the reboot process and. You know, in the interest of time, we've sped up things uh, a little bit here. Uh, you know, it's not terribly lengthy, but uh, again, who wants to sit through a, a reboot process? Now, uh, the magical thing is that at the end of this whole process, um, the AppSynth link, uh, you don't have to click on it again. Uh, it's magically turned into, where is it? Wait for it. The City app. So there you go. Um, we've successfully jailbroken the iPhone 4S using AppSynth. Uh, if you have questions, join us at everythingicafe.com. Thanks.